I'm Alessandro for from Fully. And I will talk about the story of this road, it's the road where I live. And it's a road inside for me. It's a special road because it yeah, is the only road having this name, Via Giorgio Regnoli, super Italian name. And uh, really, and it's a unique name because there is no other road like that. And um, before, to, I'm so glad to be here because it's a fantastic place. And um, I think that I'm going to tell a story before going deep inside the story of uh, my road. And I'm going to tell the story. A friend of mine told me the story of an anthropologist. You have to pay attention to, to anthropologists because they are strange people, really. And this anthropologist went to South America and uh, he met a population, an indigenous population, you know. And the other kind of bottle, bottle of water, you know. And the, uh, the indigenous people uh, tried to ask to him, like, what is this? Why do you put the water inside the bottle, you know? Ah, oh, because we sell it like that. And when they realized, really, that they, the people in our country put the water inside the bottle and sell the water, they start to laugh. They, really, they said, you are totally crazy. <laughs> really. But you, you are crazy. Why? And maybe you put the air inside the bottle and you sell the air. <laughs> because the water, you know, it's a common. It's a, the, the best common in the world. We are made by water, you know. So um, that's why sometimes I'm, I just wonder if we lost the, concept, the conception of a common. Why the people lost the conception of a common? Um, there's my, one of my mentors, it's Ivan Illich. Do you know Ivan Illich? Do someone of you know him? Okay. In the 60s and uh, the 70s year, um, he, he thought about the, it's a very difficult name, uh, heteronomous. Uh, direction of life. It means that your life is directed by someone else, uh, especially for to the by the government, by the state, by your municipality, and you lose the contact with your life. You can you you lost the you, you lose the, the capability to do things. You know to think yourself like an active person. You know. Okay, um, that's a, that's just an introduction. But I want to say that in that road, the Regnoli road, maybe there's sliding some strange photos there. And in the Regnoli road, uh, something happened like that. Uh, community people, I, I use uh, a kind of technology like Minority Report, and so it's a marginal technology. Uh, we are here in 2010, and we are here in 2017, right now. And in 2010, the Regnoli road was a kind of desert. You know, like a wheel of powder, um, because nobody was living there. Uh, the lease was really high, and nobody can can pay the lease for the the rent of houses, the rent of uh, shops. Okay, and it was really a desert. After a community of people, I don't know how really, uh, tried to save the, the the road because before the road was really important for our city, the central road, and. So uh, this community of people start to uh, realize something, okay, a bottom-up process, okay, and uh, they organize a parade, real spontaneous parade inside the street. There was a lot of people making theater inside inside the, the rooms, inside the, in the terraces, in the balconies, and there was a, a band, a volcanic band, playing playing by the street, by the road, uh, all the time, and so in one day. The road become the desert of 2010 become something unbelievable, but just for one day. And they wonder like, okay, why we cannot make that every time, every day? Okay, why we cannot save this road? And that's why um, a lot of people met there, and they create an association. Okay, they create an association. They have a home for the association uh, inside the number 41 of that road. So that's why the association is called Regnoli 41. And really, they start to realize, but really spontaneously, without the help of the municipality, a lot of initiative, like concert, uh, book reading by the roads, and okay, everything. 
Okay, that's interesting because uh, I want to talk about the relation between the administration and this uh, spontaneous group, the, or the community of the road. Because during the year, uh, the years, the, um, the, the the relation changed. You know. So uh, in 2011, they organized uh, a super initiative. In my opinion, it's a kind of open air museum inside the road. So they selected some artists. They found a lot of people there, and they start to, to uh, show uh, like painters, sculptors around the road. And they have an inauguration the uh, day where a lot of people of the city came there and to just to see the, this this uh, open air museum. So the administration in that phase helped Regnoni Quarantuno um, because they put it. Um, uh, man, a uh, community manager, really, really um, able to talk with people, and this community manager uh, convinced all the people, all the owner of houses there, to decrease the, the rent of the houses and the shop. So they create a kind of a network because people start to open shop because the price was lower, and and okay, uh, a lot of shop open there in that road. And uh, the business owner started to create a community there. Okay, in that case, the administration made a really good work, I think. After the thing changed, because uh, in 2013, I think we are here. Uh, in 2013, uh, the administration wanted to help the the, the, the association, uh, but start to lead the organization of the open air museum. The result is not was not so um, perfect because um, the, the, there was a problem. The people don't feel like uh, involved inside the decision. Okay, um, the people of the street, the community of the street, there was a, a gap between the what the, the street want to do and what the administration uh, want to lead. So, um, in that case. Um, for three years, the administration start, uh, um, continues to organize the open air museum, but more and more, um, really, the, the the quality of the open air museum starts to decrease. So, in this moment, um, the the community uh, decide to break the accord, the pact with the with the municipality. Uh, but I, um, we think that. We are in 2017, and um, I think that um, they want to discover another way to 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 okay. They want to get back the power in the hand. So uh, we don't know what is going to happen in the street, but the result of all the years before was like um, five building was restructured there. Uh, 22 uh, business shops open. Okay, there was a lot of people creating a lot of uh, initiative and uh, like uh, a dinner, a common dinner through the street, and uh, uh, the, we create a co-working inside the street. We create a pub where, and the pub became a kind of house for the association too. So, the experience is so really good, but we have to understand how the administration have to um, interact with this kind of spontaneous initiative, because that's really important. It can change the destiny, the future of this kind of initiative. So, in my opinion, my appeal for the, the, uh, the administration is to be a facilitator, to be a sponsor for this kind of initiative and to let the, that the initiative can find uh, out the, the road they want, they, they want to, to keep. Okay. And at the same time, for people, they have to, to stop to put the water inside the bottle. They, of course, they have to um, think uh, the, the, the public space as a common. And if you think that everything is a common, you know, and even your uh, resources, you are a resource, and you are a common as a person, you know. If you think like that, maybe uh, you can start to create to uh, to create a community. 
and uh, really this community can be an active community, a change maker, and we can build another future together. Thank you very much.